Hello folks, it's Ian again, like, you know, I thought it comes, like, you know, surprises. Today's post bag, like, is going to be, like, you know, ending with this beauty. Look at that. Done that, look at that. Like, you know, with a few, like, you know, extras, like the strap for this, which is now adorning. And... Marks and Spencer's Diver's Watch. Would you believe it? It looks bloody brilliant. Oh, you know, I mean, this is absolutely top thing, you know. I mean, I love it. Oh, you know. Have your ladies' Diver's Watch. Oh, you know. Uh, on the president. I'm pleased with that. So, uh, you know, that is some of the things to look forward to. Oh, you know, all from one job lot. See you on the down view. Okay, so we're down at the down view, right? Now I bought this job lot. Right, pay 15 quid delivered. Now this strap was part of it, which as you can see, I've now got on that um, Komodowski 50 Years Victory um, Komodowski with the gold plated um, dial. I love that. It's a lovely piece. Right, you know. So, in amongst it, was this. Marks and Spencer's Silicon Banded Dive Watch. Now what was missing was the screws on the back. Nothing else. So I went through like an old, I found an old Casio. As you can see, it's working perfectly. The only thing is, it's got a backlight on it, which uh, the battery for is dead. Actually, I, I did have another one of these, like where the, the silicon had broken off. But I'm pleased with that, because that actually looks, you know, it's quite chic. So, there's some solid gold um, cases in there. All right, from old, the old thing, something really quite heavy, it got markings on. Um, there's a Casio. There, that just needs like um, a new strap arm on it. it. Says it's not working. All right. Um, a broken, which is a real shame, but because this is like um, a fix, a fix, uh, a fixo flex or something. But it's missing this end bit. But I do have an older one of these somewhere. If I can find out how to change that over. That's rolled gold, that is. All right, you know, that's, that's quite, a, quite, as you can see, it's quite a thick plate of gold on that. All right, I've got this strange thing. It's gilded on one side with some sort of paint. All right, you know, but it, it just fits, like, you know, one of these generic watches, like, with the, the tab sticking out. I can find a place to do with that. A rose gold bezel off of something. I have no idea. Um, a Loris. Like, I haven't got a battery in it, but I've got a feeling it's got a smashed crystal. But I do have another Loris. Now, as we know, as you can see in the back, that is a Seiko movement. So it's another Seiko. Crystal should be hard to find. That's on a um, still fixer, um, fixer flex. These things are brilliant. Um, this one was originally gold toned. This is what you call a coffin, right? Um, because it's got like a coffin shaped thing there, like middle lozenge is a coffin, right? I have no idea what brand it is, but I will get rid of that gold, I will polish it up, and I will have a no that's a 19mm end piece that will look very nice on something. Now, uh, how about this? Ladies Avia Mariner, perfect working order. Right, you know, bezel clicks, unidirectional. Right, on these Avias, the uh, loom around the indices and everything are really, really bright and they last for 10 minutes. Right, you know, that's on the president, ladies president um, bracelet. Beautiful ladies watch that is. Bit too small for me, but you know. So uh, there we have a limit. That's on a kind of a, a NATO 
gold NATO bracelet. I don't know if this is a man's or a woman's or what, but I, you know, the fact that it fits around my wrist. But this one's working perfectly. It's not the best band in the world, but you know, I mean, that's, that's quite a pleasant looking watch, isn't it? Uh, you know, it's not bad. That will be added to my collection. Um, funny one here. And this is, I've, I've actually got another one of these bracelets somewhere else. All right, it's like an expander. Like that. This one, the, um, what's it? The crown isn't dis disengaging the hacking section of the keyless works. All right, so it just turns all the time. This is a men's ruler. Sorry, I beg his pardon. Well, that's good because I love ruler. You know, the Soviet East German watches. So that one's going to be fixed. Actually, I'm not so sure if that might be an automatic, you know, because it's got the automatic sized back end. Yeah, look, it's turning. Oh, look at that. So we know that one's working. Just needs a bit of a fix. Uh, another limit. Uh, you know, but that's a jeweled quartz movement on the back. So, you know, might have some success with that. Uh, what else? Genova dial for something. Uh, you know, but, I mean, you know, it's quite nice. I mean, it'll fit something. So I'm keeping the best till last, right, you know. I have no idea what this is. Puffy, it's got a smash crystal, but it does have a lower, what, lower end what you call like a, a sub dial seconds. Uh, it seems to be quite nice. Otherwise, I had got hopes for that. Here is a Casio quartz. Uh, gold's rubbed off a bit. Like uh, you know, it's dead batteries, cracked crystal. But I do have another Casio in my box, naughty box. Uh, da -da, whatever this is, Paul Nicole, dead battery, uh, quite a tidy, um, chunky steel bracelet, 18mm, that'll find its way onto something. Uh, this is a Corsair, I have no idea what it is, overwhelmed. Like, you know, it's jammed because it's overwound. So, it's, it's really gummed up. Right. I have no idea, but that again looks like it's got an automatic back on it. So, this could very well be an automatic. Right. What does it say? Just this shockproof. I mean, it's got quite a nice crystal on it. I mean, that could be made to work. I'll be quite happy with that. Uh, what do we have here? An unnamed piece, which doesn't have a second hand either. All right, so whatever that is. A funny back, which I don't know what that's from. And a case back of something else. But it's got something, oh, it's got two case backs in there. Ah, oh, right. These are for the case, the case, the open cases, I should imagine, in here. All right. Like well, I say, you've seen the, all the gold, bits of gold and everything in there. And dials, like, you know, there's some nice stuff, like, you know. Right. I'll put it all out. Not a lot of these Genova things, right, you know. That's quite a nice dial. I quite like that one, actually. Um... That there. Yeah, see, like there's a movement off of something, like it's got a jammed up, very, very jammed up balance wheel. Uh, what's this one? I assume that these are all the same from the Genovas. Now that's got a very nice balance wheel on it, so that one might work. Uh, there's gear wheels and dials and movements. Right, you know, there's one of the cases. That's one of the lightweight ones. Well, no, it's not. No, actually, that's quite got quite heft to it. One of these ones I checked, they had um, had hallmarking, but that one's not. It's just painted on gold. 
Um, uh, there's quite a lot of things. Oh, there's another one of those. These are obviously movement holding rings. So, oh, there's some hands in there as well. Oh, that's pretty good. So, here comes the best till last. How about that? Working accurist. This is going in the collection. This was worth the 15 quid all on its own. Took a bit of time to get the battery in it. Bosh, bosh, bosh. Look at that. It's even like it's made for my wrist. How about that for a lovely lap? Chunky president based two tone bracelet. It is my. Oh, I love it. You know. Accurist, you know, they're all part of the Laura Sago and all that, like, you know, that they're not bad pieces. So, there you go, that's today's post bag, like, in detail, and I will meet you on the other side. So, what about that then, like, you know, 15 quid delivered, like, you know, I'd done it on a cheeky offer, I saw it, and I thought, bloody hell, like, you know, I, I had no guarantee that this was going to be working, or that was even complete, because, I mean, you know, he just turned around and said, yeah, like, some of them were working, some of them not, like, you know, stuff like that. But out of the 15 quid job lot, I've got this watch. Like, you know, um, plus these as well. Like, plus a strap, which I've been looking for for this one. Like, a, a cuff strap. Like, because I'm, I'm tired of these soppy um, Soviet ones. Like, they don't fit my wrist very well. Oh, like, you know, and hands, dials, like, you know, clockwork movements. And there's still stuff to go through. Like, to make, see if I can get some other working stuff out of that as well. So, right, um... I just had to have a celebratory toke. Right. I've had some more good news, like, you know, in that I bought um, a brand new pair of skinny jeans. I thought, let's have a go. Because I used to wear skinny jeans as a teenager, like, you know, because that's skinheads used to do at night, you know. Right. 34 inch waist, 30 inside leg. Right. And these are brand new, like, you know, stat tags on there and everything, like, you know. And would you believe it, like, you know, I've actually got. Bit about that much gap around it, I've had to put a belt on the bloody things because I'm just slowly still shedding weight. I'm, I've gone down and I put a tape measure around myself, like you know, like, here it is the tape measure. I put it around myself and I measured myself. And if I pull it in, I can get it down to 31, like you know, which ain't bad, you know, really, for somebody who's like older, fat like me. Um, so I was, I was waiting in a queue today to get me um, painkillers, like, you know, the Shaftesbury um, thingy, like, and it's like, I'm wearing my new jeans, got a pair of Lonsdale trainers on, I've got my um, grey and fluorescent yellow Lonsdale sweatshirt on, I looked pretty trim, like, you know, and this bird right in front of me, she must be about 35, 40, right, she kept throwing glasses over her shoulder, she kept, like, you know, like, you know, preening herself, like, you know, moving it, like, to make herself look, like, to make her tits look bigger or whatever, like, you know, and I mean, she was really giving me the old eye, like, you know, and I was like, yeah, like, <laughs> Uh, you know, like, unfortunately, like, you know, I got seen and served before she did, so, like, you know, um, and that was the end of that. I did hang around a bit, but, like, she just seemed to be in the queue for ages, so I thought, oh, well, if she wants to see me around in three-wheeler, uh, you know, so, that's that. There are some bad things going on behind. I did get my disability through, like, I got three and a half years worth of PIP, like, it's gone up um, by about 50 quid a month. But the bastards at the council, they, as soon as they see that, they put what I owe them up. So they, I'm going to be £30 a month better off, but I'm guaranteed. And I'll get free road tax as well, which is good. And I'll get a blue badge. And it's like the first time ever, like, you know, I actually get a blue badge. It's brilliant. So now nobody can say, like, if I park into the saber, nobody goes, hey, you can't park there. Like, and I say to them, well, I've got, I'll get this ability, I'm entitled. And they go, oh, no, you need a blue badge. I'm going to call the police on you, sort of thing, you know. Like, you know. So, um, um, so it's all been much of a muchness, like, you know. Um, well, just trying to get through. Sean's gone back to Scotland. Lots of shit going on up there for her. Like, you know, and for my other daughter. 
like, you know, like, it turns out, like, you know, like, somebody who's in the family, like, it's turned out to be a complete and utter flake. Like, I feel so disappointed because I did give him a lot of my time and fault, like, you know, and he betrayed us. And as far as I'm concerned, like, you know, he's lucky he's still walking around on two legs, like, you know, because, you know, he's really angered me. And I'll tell you what, if I was up in Scotland right now, like, he'd be in hospital. So, you know, if he's watching this, he, he better take it that I am pissed, bloody pissed about all this, like, you know. But I'm not going to tell tales, like, you know, if my daughter wants to talk about it, she'll do it her own way. Oh, uh, you know. Oh, yeah, there was the other thing that turned up in that um, job lot. Look at this. A Montaigne Divers GMT watch. But somebody's taken the two crowns out. What a git. That's, that's, that's really snidey, that is, like, you know, but it, I do believe that that's worth like, some money because of the same, like, you know, I mean, the loom on that is absolutely top dog. So, you know. Now I've got everything up to date. I'm going to get the Reliant up on the ramp because when I stop driving, I've noticed there's a bit of a pong of fuel, like, you know, and I think that what's happened is, is I've got a, a bit of a leak on the overflow, maybe, or like the um, overflow canisters full or something. But when you're dealing with plastic cars and petrol, like, you don't piss around, like, you know. I don't mean with grubby tash. Oh no, it's just a grey sitting there. Um, you know, they can so easily turn into raging infernos and all you've got left is a puddle of molten steel at the end of it, like, because you can't put unleaded petrol out. So, you know, that's why Reliance just go... <laughs> conflagrate. So, you know, it's all been going on. Like, you know, watch collection's still going on. I'm still waiting for about seven pieces from Russia. Um, I don't know what's going on. I've got a mechanical alarm coming. I've got um, a Chaker Stadium coming, which is like the evil eye watch. It's green with red hands on it, or you know, and it's like shaped like an eye. And it does, like, that's why they call it the evil eye watch, because it does look like an evil eye. I haven't given myself an air cut, so I thought I'd grow a quiff like Gary's got, like, you know, uh, get a bit of a DA, black leather jacket, like, you know, like, you know. Norton Commando boy going around saying all oh, you mods are a bunch of puffs like you know nah that's not me like you know I did see somebody on a schematic today like and I thought you get I really could do with something like that so you know I would quite happily turn my Vespa and my Reliant into like you know just a modern Vespa or bike I you know just because I just I, I, you know I just want to get out on the open road uh, you know, if I had like a decent sized bike, I'd drive up to Scotland back, no trouble at all in a weekend, because that's what you do with them. Vespers, you just don't want to like be stuck on the bloody Vespa for 10 hours in the saddle. When you get off, you're walking like John Wayne, you know, you like, look like you shit yourself, like, you know. Uh, you know, Gary does that all the time, but then, like, you know, when he gets more than 30 mile an hour, he does shit himself, like, you know. So, I mean, you can only push bikes around London that far, like, you know. Uh, sorry, Gary. Like, I'll send you a couple of my Millwall stickers, Gary, if you want, like, you know. So I'll be sticking them places, like, I stuck a couple on my windows out here, like, so people know this is a Millwall place. I stuck a couple on the car. I left one at the doctor's surgery over in Shaftesbury, like, you know, like, and people are probably scratching up and saying, where the fuck did all these Millwall people come from, like, you know. So, uh, you know, and I was very tempted to stick one of my mate's car because he's a West Ham supporter, like, you know, but I didn't, like, you know, because I know that he would have got the right arse about it. Uh, I don't know why West Ham supporters get arsey about it, like, you know, I mean, that's Millwall supporters. We never went there for the football, we went for the after-game entertainment, you know. Um, right, I'm wather I'm wuthering and wuthering and blathering and whatever else, like, you know. Uh, it looks like COVID's coming to an end, hopefully, if people don't stop being, you know, like, you know, having parties in, like, you know, I decide to lick each other's armpits or something, you know. Um, it could be that we might see some normality. I, I don't care, I've got six months bonus on my bloody MOT. Doesn't run out until the 26th of October. I'm, I'm well pleased, like, you know. So, you know, that's, that's something I have, you know, worry about down the line. Uh, you know, free tax, disabled, blue badge, my God. 
you know, even like, you know, the doctors are told the to DWP that I'm like, you know, on my way out, like, you know, or it's somebody being nice. You watch, somebody will come along and be really horrible to me now, like, you know. Right, well, it's adios, like, you know, be seeing ya, as old number six would say, like, you know. Be sensible, be safe, and be careful, and don't lick each other's armpits, trust me. It's worse things than COVID coming out of people's armpits. Bye.